Saturday morning guys, we're out in the shop. Beautiful day out. I gotta apologize to those guys out there who I've said we'd swap stickers. I just haven't got around to it. Honestly, I don't even know where this one came from. But I do have one. I gotta print out some more. I will get them going to you as I promise you this week is the week I'm gonna do it. So I just wanted to, what spurred me on this actually is a, uh, yes, John Kerry day today for sure. I uh, found something that I got a while ago. I finally found a place to put it though. See? Thank you, sir. I've had that sticker for a while now. I haven't uh, said thanks properly for it. There it is. Right where it belongs in Ontario on the back of a truck. Well guys, today's mission, as it is just about every couple of days, find the floor. Uh, i got to clean this thing up. we got a car show tomorrow. First one I usually go to, out Heritage Village. I'll get some video for you for sure. A little swap meet out there. But I uh, haven't uh, drove this thing in the rain there for uh, our da my daughter's uh, prom a couple weeks back. and. Tucked it in the garage and that was it. Took it out a couple times for ice cream. That's about all I've done with it. So it needs to be ba needs to be bathed. It's got an inch of dust on it. We're gonna try to find the floor. Until then, I thank you, sir, for the uh, sticker. And I will get stickers out to you guys. So in the meantime, let's get back at it. See ya. Well, I think I found my floor. It's later on this afternoon. I uh, washed the truck, wiped her all down, get her ready for the big car show tomorrow. Thought I'd take a crack at changing the oil. In the process of, there's the old filter. Got a new, uh, I guess they refer to them like a toilet paper filter, but not so. Uh, first time I've uh, changed the filter on this, and I'm noticing that the way this works, it goes down through the center so there's a whole bunch of sort of sludge that's sitting in the bottom of this um, don't want to leave it in there so I made a quick run I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see much of this because it's pretty dark in here black truck dark I went to the dollar store picked myself up a turkey baster I figure for a dollar can't go wrong let's see what happens and I know some of you guys save these paint cups for different reasons. Well, these are the reasons I save them for. Just different stuff that you want to play catch with. So that's going to work. Some pretty nasty oil. I think it makes sense to get it out of there. May not be that imperative, but I'm just going to get refiltered again. But this motor sat for quite a few years in a field somewhere down in the southern states of the US so I flushed the oil a few times out of it but I didn't have a filter on it till just last year I ran it last year with this filter so we'll bring you back if it gets exciting right now we're just basting the motor with a little bit of 1540 see ya okay it's all cleaned up I'm too excited, just some dirty motor oil. No uh, metal or uh, ball bearings or anything laying in the bottom. Not that any of that would have really got up there, but that would have been pretty uh, hard to deal with if it was. So, new filter. Uh, which ends up? we got to put this end in first because you've got a little pulley thing here to take the old one off. So that's uh, the oil change. Filter, the filter change on a 1957 Chevy truck with the optional uh, oil filter. They didn't all have that. So there you go. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there too, just to get it going. But uh, the way that works, most of you know, but basically has a T coming off the, uh, the engine block where the oil pressure gauge would be runs that into the side of the canister so it fills up the whole canister pressurizes the canister and there's just one tiny hole in the center of this tube 
that after the oil goes, passes through the filter goes to that small hole and then uh, it goes back down and just drains into the back into the oil pan. So pretty simple system but it works. So anyways we'll see ya. Probably see you at the car show tomorrow. I'm gonna post this tonight. You guys can look for pictures tomorrow at the car show. See ya. Well, just in, keep your, in case you're keeping track, we've had a John Kerry day here. All day. It's around uh, 6 o'clock, I think. 5.30 maybe. Ready for the car show. As ready as we'll ever be. No big deal. We just uh, gave her an oil change. Uh, changed the oil in the air filter as well. Uh, checked the rad. I thought it was low. It wasn't. Checked my rear end. Thought it was low. wasn't. Got little drips here and there, but I guess it's not enough to add up to uh, a level issue. So, tomorrow, come along with us. We're going to be out Heritage Village for the big car show. We'll see you then. Bye.